Hello, my name is Mr. Asprey, and this is a super duper GCSE tricky question. These questions come up quite frequently nowadays where you have to draw your own probability tree and you've got to use algebra in order to solve the question. So give this question a try and then watch for the solution. Okay, if Elliot has X counters, each counter has one red face and one green face. Elliot spreads the counters on the table and he sees the number of counters showing a red face is five. He then picks one counter and turns it over. Then he picks a second counter and turns that over. The probability there are still five counters showing red is 19 over 32. Find the value of x. Right, first off. Um, the first pick, there are two options. He could either pick a red or he could pick a green. Now, what's the chance of picking a red? Well, there are five um, reds available, or there are five reds showing at the start, as it says. And there's a total of x counters, so it's 5 over x. And if there are 5 showing, and there are x in total, showing red, then how many greens will there be? Well, there'll be the difference between um, x and 5, which will be x minus 5. And that will be over x, uh, because again, there are x counters in the bag. Okay, now we need to look for the second pick. So second pick, again, it could be red or green. Now, if I picked a red, then there's one less red to pick from. Uh, so that'll be four over X. If I picked a red, then I flipped it over, which has turned it green, which means there's now an extra green to pick from. So before there were X minus five, I need to add one to that. So it's X minus four, and again, over X. Okay, great. Um, and now, if I picked a green, then that would have flipped over one of the greens to turn it red, which means there are now six reds to pick from. And again, over x, because the number of counters doesn't change. You don't take any away, you just flip them over, so it's still over x. And if I picked a green, then that means there is one less green in order for me to pick next time, so it's x. Um, minus 6 over x. Okay, now which are the ones which we are interested in? Well, we want there still to be five red counters in the bag, uh, on the table, sorry. So the only way that can happen is if we picked a red, flipped it over, then picked a green and flipped it back, or picked a green, flipped it over, then picked a red and flipped it back. So those are the only ways you're going to get back to where you started, picking a red then green or a green then red. Okay, now comes the algebra. In order to work out probability of a branch, we multiply uh, that along that branch. So the first one will give me this. And because there are two options, we will add those two options together because both of them give us success. And that will give me my total probability. So I multiply along this branch as well and that will give me 19 over 32. Okay, great, now let's do the multiplication. So this is gonna give me five lots of x minus four over x squared, and this is gonna give me six lots of x minus five over x squared, and that's gonna equal 19 over 32. I can multiply uh, each term by x squared, which will cancel an x squared cancel an x squared and make an x squared up here. I can then multiply out these brackets. I will get a 5x minus 20 and I will get a 6x minus 30. So in total I've got 5x and 6x which makes 11x and I have minus 20 and minus 30 which is minus 50. And that's equal to 19 over 32x squared. Okay, next I can multiply each term through by 32. So 11 times 32 is 352. So it's 352x. 50 times 32 is 1600, so minus 1600. And that's equal to 19x squared. We can move everything over to the right side to get 19x squared minus 300 
and 52x and plus 1600. Now this is a tricky quadratic, um, very tricky one to solve um, via factorization. So I'm going to show you a little trick which you can use in your exam. You can go to equation, polynomial, degree 2, and you can type 19 minus 352 for the x and plus 1600. And this gives me um, one answer and two answers. Okay, so let's start with the first, uh, the second answer here. So I know that my, one of my answers is going to be x is equal to 8. And then I can work backwards by subtracting 8 from both sides, like this, so that I have 0 on the right. And this tells me that x minus 8 is one of the factors of my quadratic. Okay, let's do that for the other one as well. It's a bit trickier, this one, but x is equal to 200 over 19. So x is equal to 200 over 19. I could times both sides by 19 to get 19x equals 200. I could minus the 200, so it equals 0. And then one of my brackets is now 19x minus 200. And there we go, I factorised that quadratic without actually factorising it and using my calculator to kind of cheat. Um, and now what we need to do is we need to select the correct answer because it does say work out the value of x, not values. And we will reject this one because there must be an integer number of counters on the table. And we are done. What a fantastic question. If you found that useful, please do like and subscribe. More GCSE content coming. Bye for now.